so this is all my lip stuff and I really think I need to declutter so what I might do is split the decluttering session over maybe three videos probably do like lip sticks into one um, the liquid lipsticks in another and maybe gloss and lip pencils in another so uh, yeah let's start off with the lipsticks so these are my lipsticks and I've actually kind of put them in colour categories in different pouches. Um, I may have OCD but at least it's easier then to pick the lip colour. So I'm just going to rearrange these and be right back. Okay so I've lined up my lipsticks and have arranged them in different categories um, and I'll go through them with you in a minute. But these palettes I got from MAC, they were empty and I've just literally filled in most of these lipsticks here. I've put them in palettes so that when I uh, go on bookings and have got clients, I don't need to take all of this with me. I have a lot of it packed up in here. So if there are some colours in this batch here that I may be wanting to get rid of, what I might do is just fill it up in these palettes if they're almost gone and then whatever's left I'll probably just bin and these were just some of the spare ones um, that didn't actually fit into the categories so um, yep let's get into it okay so I'm going to start with these colors here which are my purpley type tones of lipsticks and some of the lipsticks I know can go into either or categories so Bear with me and I will just try and um, swatch these and just try and make up my mind. But I do need to get rid of a lot of these. Okay, so I've just zoomed in the camera so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, maybe I'll bring these a bit closer still. Okay, so I'm going to start here. And this one is by Kiko. And it's the shade number 915. And... It is a nice colour, um, but it is a little bit sheer, I would say, and it's a bit too glossy for my liking. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Then we have one by Beauty UK, and this is Snob, which is number three. And this is like a nice matte one. Actually, I quite like this colour. I'm not too sure if it would suit me as because of my skin colour. Um, but I guess it depends on what I'm wearing. But um, I know this colour would look quite nice on a lot of my clients, especially if you're more fairer skin. So I'll keep this one for now. Then we have two by Rimmel, and I'll probably go for the lighter one first. This is called Vintage Pink, and I know I want this one. Um, it is such a nice colour. Um, it does have like a glossy type feel to it. Of lipstick on here it does have um a bit of a glossy look to it but it is such such a nice color so i'm definitely keeping this one this one here which is a darker color which is number 380 or it's called dark night um wow okay so that's i'm not too sure about this one i'll probably just get rid of it purely because i'm not 100 percent if you know what i mean so maybe i'll get rid of this one then we have two from MAC, so this one is called Odyssey. Um, this actually is similar-ish to that, I guess. Um, but the texture is a lot better. I think I'll still keep this one, it's still nice. And this one is up the amp, and this is another like lilac-y colour one. It's a lot brighter as well. Oh, it is such a nice colour. Um, maybe I'll get rid of this one. I'll get rid of that one. Next we have 128, which is called Starry Eyed by Rimmel again. Another dark colour. Which let's watch this. Oh, it kind of fits within the dark, uh, within the brown range, I guess. Um, 
but I'm not loving it. So yeah, let's just get rid of that one. Then we have one by Kiko and this is number 914. Another dark type one. And this is actually quite nice. Um, it's a different sort of colour because it's got purpley but yet yeah, reddy tones. It is slightly different. I think for now because I'm not actually keeping any colours that are like this. I will probably just keep it. And then we have one by Estee Lauder. And this is called Berry Truffle Shimmer. Um, it's very very sheer um it is a nice color if you don't want too much color payoff but i yeah i'm not liking it let's get rid of that and the last one is by avon and this is called grape and this is a matte color this is actually quite a nice color it's a nice dark color so if you want to go for a nice autumny wintry type look I think this would work really nicely so I'll keep this one okay so we're doing good I'm getting rid of five and keeping five so that's good let's move to the next batch and these are my red colors so first one here is by Tarte and this one is called rosy red and I know I want to keep this because it is one of my newer purchases and I really really like the color um it's not matte, it's got like a uh, satin finish, but it's such a nice colour and it's really comfortable to wear. So I'm definitely keeping this. Next one is by Stargazer and this is in the shade number 139. And guys, if you're wondering what condition these lipsticks are in, it's because I've had to kind of take some off with my spatula and put it in my palette. So that's why some of these look quite funny. Um, uh, nah, let's just get rid of this one. I don't actually know why I've kept this, so get rid of that. This one is by MUA, and this is their red one called Scarlet Siren. Um, it's nice and matte, like you can feel it's going to last a long time, but I'm not 100% on the colour, so let's get rid then we have another one by Estee Lauder and this is Blushing, I think it's called. <laughs> God, look at the state of that one. Yeah, let's just totally just get rid. This, yeah. Okay, um, next we have one by e.l.f. and this is Fearless. Oh, wow. That is super creamy really really nice yeah i'm definitely keeping this one elf is one of the products that i'm actually quite liking because it's very very reasonably priced and has some products that are really really nice and this one just shows it so it's very very nice i'm keeping that one this is another one by elf i actually think this fits in the wrong thing i think this is more pinky in color it's called posh and i'm hoping it's going to do the same thing yeah is just as pigmented and it just glides on and I know I like my mattes more but I think this is a nice topper um, but I think I'll put this in my pinky oh I don't know anyway I'll keep this for now oh don't want to mix them then we have a few by MAC and this one is red which I know I'm going to keep because this is the second one I've bought now and I do really like it it's nice and bright um, not matte finish um but it is such a nice color so keep that one the next one is cross wires oh i forgot to mention in this range it's not just red it's like orangey colors as well and i think cross wires is one of those yeah so it's like a coral type color and i know i really like this one too it's such such a gorgeous color especially for the like spring summer time so yeah i'm definitely keeping this one and then we have d for danger which again i know i want to keep i'll just swatch so you guys can see just swatching such awkward areas um so it's there so it's for a lot of my brides don't like proper bright in your face type reds and this is a very very popular color that i have been using so definitely keeping this one 
Okay, so I've just kind of cleaned my hand off. Now we're moving on to number seven, and this one is, I can't, Raisin, I think it's called. Can't really read it because it's actually come away a little bit. Okay, this is a really nice colour. I think I'll keep this because it's a kind of a different colour. Another one by Kiko, and this is number 909. Yeah, this is a really nice colour too. Um, I know I'm going to want to keep more reds because of my Asian brides more so. Um, but I think this is a nice colour because, again, it's not too too bright. And this is Diva Red, which is number 500. And it has got a nice sort of glossy feel to it. But I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Next one is by Sleek, and this is number 786, which is the colour Vamp. And I think I quite like this one, I can't remember. Yeah, it's like a proper dark sort of brownie colour um, <laughs> in the wrong pile, but uh, oh well. I'm not too sure if I want to keep this actually. I think I'll probably get rid of this one. We have one by Max Factor, and this is a pink brandy. And uh, let's switch it here. So it's very sheer, and I don't think I'm going to use it that much. This one, so let's get rid. Next one is by Bella Pierre, and this is Ruby. Um, again, I think for my liking, it's a bit too bright, so I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, so the last two now, we have this one by Inglot, and this is number 409. Oh, it's quite tough. Oh god, this is proper dried out. Yeah, it's dried out. Let's bin this. And the last one is by L'Oreal Paris, and this is 461. This is actually quite a nice colour, but mm, no, I think I'll just get rid of this one. So we've got through quite a lot already and I'm getting rid of a fair amount which is nice. I'm moving down to my next pile which are the like browns and nudie brown type colours. And the first one is called Peachy Nude and I know I definitely want to keep this one. Um, which is such a nice colour and it just glides on really nicely. So yeah, definitely keeping this one. Then we have one by Stargazer and this is 121 and this is actually really nice something very different um and i think it would work really nicely as a lip topper um just to give it a shine especially in the mid sections of the lip so i'm definitely going to keep this one then we have three from estee lauder and this one is called chestnut um no i'm going to get rid of this it's actually going quite light this one is bois de rose don't know why it's in this pile maybe it should have been in the pink pile i'll keep this it is a nice one this but i think i'll put it in my pink section and then we have oh okay <laughs> i got two of those so i'll probably keep one and get rid of the other um then we have another one by rimmel called coffee shimmer which is two six four um actually it's quite let me try another area it's kind of drying out and it's quite patchy now i think maybe it's just got a little bit old so i'm going to get rid of this okay so then we have another one by estee lauder and this is maple sugar something like that nah this is gone it's too patchy let's get rid of that then we have two by number seven, and this one is Entice. Mm, again, it is a bit too sheer, a bit too glossy, and 
I think is a bit patchy so I'm going to get rid and this one is Velvet Kiss oh <laughs> not a lot left actually in this um, it, it is actually quite a nice colour though um, mm, 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 what should I do what should I do okay I'll keep this because there's not a lot left anyway so it'll probably go quite quickly then let's move to this one by L'Oreal and it's number 102 um, nah let's get rid of this one I'm not really liking this one and then the final three are by MAC and this one is called Spirit which I do like and it's matte so a bonus so I'm definitely keeping that then we have Kinda Sexy which again is a really nice nude colour especially if you're fairer toned and then we have Velvet Teddy and I know I'm going to keep this because I've just bought it I've not even swatched it and um yeah let's just swatch it for you guys so you can see it's such a nice nude lip colour especially if you're my skin tone uh, and I'm like a MAC NC 43.5 in foundation um, but yeah I think it's really nice I'm definitely keeping that okay guys almost done so it's the final batch which are my pinky toned lip colours and let's start off with e.l.f. again and this one is called Gypsy and I know I like this one so I know I'm going to keep this it's such a nice sort of all-rounder pink lip colour so it's definitely keeping this one and then we have Classy which is more on the lighter side and this one I'm not too sure about I think I might get rid of this one and then we have this one not too sure who it's from but it's a nice sort of pinky colour <laughs> as it's in the pinky pile um I think it's a bit too sheer it is a nice colour I possibly would wear it as well but as I am decluttering I think I have to be honest with myself like I'd probably choose other colours out of the lipstick that I've kept so I will probably bin this then we have one by L'Oreal and this is Rose. It's in the colour Rose. Um, not too sure. I think I'll probably get rid of this one. Then we have a couple by Estee Lauder and this one is Candy. <laughs> not a lot left probably explains it I think I might have used a lot of it before but I think I'll probably just get rid of it and this one is in the shade Rosa Rosa mm, it's a bit too sheer for my liking I think it's going a little bit patchy as well so I'll probably get rid of this Then we have one by Kiko, and this is in the shade 919. Oh god, why did I even get this? I don't know. This is way too light. I'll probably definitely be getting rid of this. Okay, let's just bring these down. Then we have this one by Inglot, and this is the shade 227. Oh wow. I'll definitely be keeping this one it is such a gorgeous color it's really really nice I don't think the camera is actually doing it justice it's such a nice color okay so I'll leave my MAC ones till the end I'll pick this one first which is a makeup for everyone and this is in the number matte six. Oh yeah I remember liking this one actually oh my god this is gorgeous um, definitely keeping this one and it is really nice and matte and I know I've used this one before and it's lasted such a long time so definitely keeping this one then we have my last trio of the Tarte lipstick that I got and this is pink mauve and I know I want to keep this one too because I've used this recently in one of my videos and it's turned out really nice so yeah definitely keeping this one 
Okay, so then we're on our MAC ones. So let's start this side. This one is all fired up. <laughs> I don't think you can go wrong with this colour. This I'm definitely keeping. It is such a nice ready pink colour. Definitely keeping this. We have Craving. Oh, I think I like this one too. <clears throat> These two are very similar. But this is more matte. And this is more shiny or creamy. Oh my god, what do I do? Um, okay, I'm going to keep it for now because I do like that colour. Then we have Girl About Town, which I'm definitely keeping. And it is one of the newer purchases because it's not even been swatched yet. But I will swatch it for you guys. It is such a nice hot pink colour. It's not matte, but it is still such a really, really nice colour. So definitely keeping that one. Then we have Milan Mode. And maybe I can get rid of this one. Yeah, I think I'll get rid of this one. It is a nice colour. Um, and I knew it's one of their Luster range. So I know that that isn't as sort of pigmented and as intense as the other ones but um yeah i'll probably get rid of this one then we have hot gossip which i think i remember liking actually yes i did um it's more of a kind of nudie brownie pink if that makes sense it's not a matte color but it is quite different to the others so i'm definitely keeping this one final two we have Brave, and I know I've liked this because I've worn this loads. Oh, where should I put it? Here. So, again, kind of reminds me of a pinkier version of Velvet Teddy. So, I'm definitely keeping that one. And my last one is Love Forever. And I remember this one being really nice as well. Like a really nice hot pink colour. And it's so creamy just glides on really really nicely um it's not a matte color but it is a really nice one still so i'm keeping this one so there you have it guys this is my decluttering session of my lipsticks and i've actually done pretty well i think because i'm such a hoarder i tend to keep a lot of things even though i may not need it and may not be using it so i thought today i have to do like a really proper proper deep sort of decluttering session especially on my lipsticks um so yeah we have this set here which i'm getting rid of and this set here which i'm keeping so there's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty seven that i'm getting rid of sorry i just moved the camera there and then two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two 30 that I'm keeping so not too bad almost half taken away so um yeah that's it and I think next of my declutter session will probably be my liquid lipsticks and that is gonna be really really hard because I love my liquid lipsticks <laughs>